Hey all viewers and viewers, my name is John Red Strategist, and welcome back to So You're Being Hunted. It's episode 316 now. So, back here at the Centre Island now. We cleared out the West Island actually in the last episode, and uh, there wasn't actually a whole lot there, was there? Let's be honest. But we've still got uh, a load of books to actually find in this here Literature Hunt 2.0. Various things like that. So we're just going to continue killing scarecrows, and we have our first volunteer for the experiment over here. Wow, that bullet went completely over his shoulder. See, you're uh, guarding that piece there, are you? Uh, come on now. Can you take the shot, please? Lord, it's like my bullets were going through him entirely. That's not what I really wanted. Is it me, or did he take more shots than normal, or is it just because, like I say, it felt like things were going all over the place? Uh, that's the poor Billy robot that we got from the um, West Island. My gruesome encounter! This is a new one, isn't it? Oh, well, look at that, yes. We can tick that off the list, actually, we'll fully write out the title. My gruesome encounter, tick. There we go. Right, so that's another one down, straight off the bat. we made more progress. Still got quite a few books left to find, though, but what, what does this one say? That is where the mystery ends, because the thing in the cabin was not a man. It had never lived at all. It was something not of this world, but a machine which glared with malice of forethought and otherworldly intent. If it had not been for the surgeon and his red-hot poker, I would not have returned to Mary, nor have written this diary of my experiences on the evil river. Let this be a warning to anyone who would tangle with machines, be they on water or upon terra firma. There is something that knows no bounds, nor God's forgiveness. A malevolence which on the devil could have raised. Yes, I can compare it unto blasphemy, but I pray it cannot be remade. We should all make that prayer. Ooh, <laughs> that's a bit of an ominous one, that is. I like it. You see, always good to uh, find these new ones. So I'm guessing that's a diary someone wrote, in light, of course, of uh, the robot invasion and all that. Nice to have the sound effect from the device piece in the background as I was reading that one. Probably made it nice and ominous, didn't it? Now I just need to find my way back uh, towards the house that I had been using. If I can find that priory, I think we'll be all right, and we'll kill some more scarecrows en route if need be. So yes, hope you guys out there are doing well and that you're enjoying so you're being hunted still at the moment. Certainly we found a lot of lore so far in this game. It's been fantastic stuff. Now, something is uh, kind of weighing a little on my... Well, I say weighing on my mind, but something is on my mind, basically, at the moment. And um, a bit of a weird and quite random subject, this, but... So, a few episodes back, I was talking, of course, about, you know, I've been watching a lot of uh, videos by Outside Xbox and Outside Extra on YouTube, stuff like that, you know, their kind of list videos and whatever else have you. And um, recently I was watching one of their videos, and I discovered something which honestly left me kind of flabbergasted a little bit. Not in a kind of bad way, just in a sort of mystified who the heck thought that was a good idea kind of way, if that makes sense. And um, so the video I was watching was, um, I can't remember the exact number uh, of games they were covering in this one video, but it was it was one of their list videos and it was um, TV tie-in games that completely missed the point. So it's like basically games based on TV shows, but which, as the title suggests, basically completely missed the point of the TV show that they were trying to be based upon. And of course there were some interesting ones in there. There was like <laughs> Simpsons Wrestling, something like that. That was one of them. Actually, let's just take out the Scarecrow whilst I uh, talk about what it is I saw. So there was the Simpsons Wrestling one. That was one of the ones that was in there. There was even one that was like Home Improvements. It was weird. It was like a platformer and I was like, who thought that was a good idea? I'm not entirely sure. Um, that's the Golden Arm Part 2. We already have that one, so we don't need to worry about that. Discard it. There we go, and that's the Gruesome Encounter. Just checking that I've not got rid of the wrong one. But uh, one of the games that they actually listed on that was apparently a 1987 game based on EastEnders. Yeah, that's right. The soap opera from over here in the UK. The soap opera that's based in London, and it's about a bunch of characters in the old East End of London just living their lives. And I thought to myself, who thought you could actually base a video game on EastEnders, of all fucking things? So it was it was weird. I don't know what to make of it, but of course, like I say, it was 1987. So as you can imagine, it's these friggin' really old friggin' graphics, like something off the bloody Nintendo Entertainment System or something. You know, and for a long while after I watched that video, I could not for the life of me get this freaking 8-bit version of the EastEnders theme tune 
out of my head. It was driving me fucking crazy. I just... Good lord. It was mental. I, I don't know. It was, it was weird, okay? Uh, I'm thinking then we're going to have to switch our books and uh, letters around door by door, just because... Um, because looking at the number of slots taken up by books here, it occurs to me that we still have a lot of books left to find, so there's not going to be enough space in this back door to fill it up. So what we're probably going to do is take all of them, because they'll all fit into the slots like that. That's good. Um, and then just kind of do an old switcheroo over here. So if we move some stuff around, hold on, if I do this, just move them like that, we'll move more of them around a bit. That one is my gruesome encounter, so we'll put that maybe there. If it's a uh, single ones, like single stories, we'll put them in first. Jack the Robot Killer Part 2, we'll put that sort of um, with the other one, once we've got the right space. The Awful Dream, pull that there. Lovely. The Bullies, that's good. If we move that over here, take some more... Oh, bollocks. Oh shit, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, right, well it's moved everything back round again. This is uh, Red being a pro player. I thought when I pressed take all it would do the friggin' the letters, not the friggin' books, but no, I'm wrong in that regard. My gruesome encounter, there it is. Move that one over there. Poor Billy Robot. Okay, that's Jack the Robot Killer Part 2. Okay, right, use this one. Important etiquette. Lovely. Put that there. Mechanical Cat. Yes. Move that across. Tale of Lazy. Ah, oh, what's his face? Hounds on their treachery, that can go with those. What happened to Archie? That's got that there. Did I tick that one off? Archie, I didn't tick that one off. Good lord, I have not ticked that one off at all. What hap to Archie? There we go. So I've actually got another one that I'd completely forgotten about there. Like an idiot. Okay, well we got it, at least, right? That's the good thing. Uh, let's just move all this over here. Um, what's this one? That is Mother Paul's Sack Pudding, which we'll move across. This one is our Tremendous Stench. Put that over there. Uh, Jack the Robot Killer Part 1. We will move to sort of there. We'll put this second part there. Uh, Golden Arm Part 2. Uh, if I just move some of these letters across, like so. I'm doing some reorganisation then, ladies and gentlemen. If I had to think of all the books, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, Golden Arm and Jack the Robot Killer are the only ones where there's kind of multiple entries in the series. So actually, maybe if we do this, if we, um, Golden Arm Part 2, put that there. Golden Arm Part 1, put that there, move these across like that. And then this one is The Robot and the Fool, which we'll put there. So that's like singular books, which are the only entries in their series, to put it that way. They can go there, and then ones which have multiple entries can go down there. Right, now let's switch things over to this back door. Because since... Oh, actually, no, that won't work, will it? Because there's 25 letters in the oh, shit. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll clear out another front door on one of these houses. That's not going to have enough at all, is it? Um, what about the one over here in Warple and Town? That's probably got enough space. There we go. Uh, eat the cat food, because that's good. Discard all the mothballs and the weed killer and whatever else have you. Or drink up the old stuff there. Discard that, because we don't need it. Discard... Oh, bloody hell, my phone's going. Would you, Adam and Eve it? One second, everybody. And I'm back in. Good lordy loo. Flipping old, uh, me old man, give me a ring. Old Daddy Red. I've been asking, you know, well, what was he asking again? Uh, I've completely forgotten already what he was talking about. It wasn't a very important phone call. It's just a, you know, the usual thing. But one of your old folks gives you a little call to say how's things going and all that. But yes, right, come on, let's um, stack these letters up. So we need to put them back in the order of number. Oh, zero, first one right there, that's good. Uh, 18 needs to go, that's uh, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, there we go. Uh, letter 5 can go, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hold on a minute, that won't be right then, because if that's uh, 0 to 4, 5 to uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 should be there actually. Uh, letter 1 I can go straight after there. Uh, letter 11 needs to go there. Uh, 16 needs to. Oh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, that goes there. Uh, 7 needs to go there. Uh, 21. Uh, 16, 17, no, it's 18, sorry, 19, 20, 21. Uh, move this on to letter 10, 5, uh, 4, even 5, 10's there. 
Okay, there we go. Three. Uh, that's one, one, two, three. There we go. See, sorry, you're just watching me basically uh, fuck around, <laughs> reciting lots of numbers off my head, like a bit of an idiot. Okay, twenty. That goes there. Okay, right. So all letters have now been reorganised, which is good. Thank God for that. And so now that we've got, obviously that in the book, uh, the books in there. Are, in fact, actually, what I'll do is I will use this book, put marker three up there. So we can actually find our way back here from other islands and all that. Okay, right, so West Island, I think South and East Islands have we looked at. So North Island is the one we need to get to, I think. So hold on, if we... Um, I don't know if we've been to the North Island. Which island have we not been to? Is it the East Island that we've not been to? I don't even know. I don't even know. Actually, I think... Oh God, I don't know. If we have been to the... Bloody hell, I, I, I don't know. I've completely forgot what islands I've been to. This is no good, is it? Alright, well, let's just hang around here and kill scarecrows as usual. Okay. Well, yeah, getting back to the topic of conversation that I was actually talking about, I, I still can't quite believe that someone actually thought a video game based on EastEnders was a good idea. It just strikes me as something rather odd. And apparently the gameplay is basically just a series of little mini-games. Like deadheading roses and stuff like that. So <laughs> you look at it and you think, what the fuck am I looking at right here? What about you? Do you have any idea about it? If you don't answer, you're going to get killed with revolver bullets. Here we go. There we go. I didn't really give him a chance to answer, did I? Uh, Robot and the Fool, we've already seen this one, haven't we? Uh, it's Yeah, that was actually one of the first ones we saw. We can discard that then, and then retreat, come back, take out next Scarecrow, and just keep rinsing and repeating. Um, oh man. I'm just really fighting in my head not to get that bloody 8-bit EastEnders theme tune in my head once again. Otherwise that is going to be fucking irritating. Okay, I think there's another Scarecrow in here. Just keep the old eyes off it. That raises an interesting question though. How about you guys out there watching this? Do you know of any strange as hell games that you've looked at in the past and thought, who had the idea to make that? And why did they think that that was a good idea? There we go. Book, please. Uh, mechanical Cat. Damn it, we've already seen that one as well. I'm going to end up using up so much of my uh, revolver ammo at this rate, aren't I? That's no good, ladies and gents. We need a bit more than books about mechanical cats and whatever else have you. The Scarecrow respawned yet? Blech. <laughs> Just spin the old camera around like that and then... Uh, Hopefully you'll see where it's respawned in. It definitely seems to me, with the spawn mechanics in this game, that not only do you have to get a certain distance away, if you, they spawn when you're not looking, the robots that is, scarecrows and things. Well, he says that, and there's not one in this field now. No, that's not. Mm, bollocks. But hold on, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to try that again. <clears throat> oh lordy Lou. Oh man. You know, I've been doing lots of these episodes where I just sort of keep doing random st stuff and just talking about random topics, things like that. I really do hope that people are still finding this interesting to actually watch. Let me know in the comments if you are. Because that's the thing. Like I say, last few episodes, the view count for Sir has been dropping off a bit again, as it was a fair few months ago. So that's the only issue. Um, so it's just it's just making me think, you know... Is there a limit, really, to how how often I can just do episodes of this before eventually I need to start doing something a bit new? Oh, there you are. All right. Oh, standing on your friend's body. Got him. Right. Please tell me you have something new. Nope. Haunted track. That's uh, not the one we need. Right. Well, we really need to start getting some new ammo, don't we? In fact, what we could be friggin' doing, really, is... Uh, Maybe picking up axes? Because we could always use an axe, couldn't we? As a, if I can access the bodies, please. Get, come here. Right, that's that guy. How to access body. Hold on. Yeah, see, that guy had an axe. Oh, fuck it. We'll use... We'll just get an axe. Even though it's a bit slower than using a revolver to kill a scarecrow. I think it'll work just fine, won't it? Right. Okay. I mean, if need be, what I can always do is maybe create another map and just sort of um, just spawn a load of fields on it. And so that way 
I turn up the scarecrow spawn settings, and that way we just get lots and lots and lots of scarecrows, so I can just go through and beat the shit out of all of them, blast them all with the guns. If only I had the angel mod still. Right, come over here. There you are. Take. This. You. Bastard. Yeah. Heard of that. God. Yeah, that's a lot slower than using the revolver. Um, let's see now. Mother Paul Sack Pudding. That's the same as before. That's not what we need. Um, sure. Okay, well, let's back off again and wait for them to respawn. Because they do respawn pretty quickly, which is the good thing. Yep. Spinning the camera around. Ah, like that. Let's go back in over here. Because he must have respawned by now, surely. Surely, right? Dear, must have done. Where are you? Really? You haven't respawned yet? Bloody hell. Man, how far do you have to go back, actually, before they spawn on you? I'm not entirely sure. That is the question, eh? Oh, man. You know, we're going to be here for a while at this rate. Part of me is thinking about maybe I should perhaps do some work off camera with this. Just when I get a bit of time, just go through lots of scarecrows. So that way I actually save people having to watch me just constantly going back and forth in this manner. That may actually be uh, the thing to do, mightn't it? Where's this bloody pheasant? Have you respawned yet? I can't see you, but turn that off. There we go. God, you have to... There we go, now he's respawned. I see him off in the distance over there. God, you have to get quite far back. Hmm. That's why maybe I need to uh, <clears throat> think about creating a map which really has lots of fields on it and whatever else have you. Not necessarily saying I would delete this one. No, keep hold of this map. Because obviously I've found a lot of stuff already on it. But, um, maybe then just create a secondary one, and I'll just flick them back to you, maybe. Okay. Do this. Go. There we go. Six shots, one hit from an axe. A Jack the Robot Killer Part 1. Not what we need. We've already got that. Oh, the bloody scarecrow bodies. Here we are. Okay. Let's back off again, as we do, and see how it goes. Oof. Get a bit of gas coming up from my tea. It's a Friday afternoon, everybody, as of when I record this. Done my work duties for the day and all that. Loads of essay marking, in essence. God, it feels like, yeah, last few days it's just been essay marking after essay marking after essay marking. Because the thing is, I had larger flipping dis dissertations to mark not long ago. And then the moment they were all done and moderated, got the next batch that have landed across my desk. My metaphorical desk, that is. Come over here, mister. There you are. All right, take that. And then... Bonk. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> it's the old one-two combo, that is. Golden apple. Hello. This is a new one. Thank God, at last, we got a new one. You see, this is how you do it. It just constantly uh, changes. You just have to sort of keep doing it until eventually it works. Right, golden apple. Prototype 17 planted the three golden apples in his garden, and instantly a great tree bearing similar clockwork fruit sprang up. This tree caused all the district to produce an exuberance of robotic crops and fruits, so it became as fertile and plentiful as the dominions of the golems, in consequence of the extraordinary powers possessed by the golden fruit. The automatic hound and the anti-gravity steed were of the utmost, uh, utmost utility to him, and his reign was long and prosperous, and celebrated among the old bots for the great abundance of nuts, bolts, data, tax breaks and fish that prevailed during this happy reign. Well, oh, how lovely. How lovely indeed. What a nice little story. Well, we can put this obviously in the uh, door over here, where we've got all the books now. That should be quite good. Lovely, just jubbly. Feels like my voice is going a bit. It's because of all these seminars that I've been doing recently. I say all these seminars. A lot of the seminars I've been doing recently where I've been talking a lot. Talking a lot about various topics to do with China and challenges to Western hegemony in the international system and all that. Right, uh, put that one in there. That's good. So we're steadily accumulating all the books. How many more have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six more books, actually, to find. And then that's it. We've got all the possible books that there are in the game. Wow. That'll be pretty incredible when we've done it, when we can officially say we've done all the books, and then it's just a matter of finding the reading material in terms of the letters, hoping that, of course, they've all spawned in this game. If not, we'll create another map. 
So yeah, I'm thinking probably, I don't know, I'll probably do a lot of work off camera just to try and um, get some of these books quicker. Because like I say, I know this might not be particularly thrilling for people to watch, just me doing the same things repeatedly. So yes, um, that's definitely going to have to be something I do. Right, well in that case... Um, what I'll, what I'll do is I'll wrap this episode up here. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this joy, yeah, yeah. Enjoyed this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Good Lord, I could not speak for a second then. Facebook and Twitter links down below, as usual, along with a link to my propagandist channel for anyone interested. In the meantime, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. But in the meantime, I'm signing off now. Goodbye, everybody. You know, I think it's blue, but great. But we're getting to it. When T.H. or Irving is such a threat, you just want to see you as our armed skirts. Yes, that's exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, I can't exactly deny that. Oh, my God. Before, he was not worth any of it. That was just... Ahem. Just like the old How about a tight on set? Maybe you see some deli there. Oh, no. I'll be right back. After three months, I'm quite worried you keen it. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, it's even got an iron cross on it. Yes, as well. Yeah. So what do you think? Six. Yeah. Hot <laughs> down. That's yes. it. Hot down. Did I see that movie made you in uniform? What? Yeah. Tee hee, that's our plantain sack. Of course. Is it really that good? <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. It's like honey pop all over again.